Hi everyone, Harris here with the IE Download Blog, and in this video we're taking a look at Logitech's MX Anywhere 3 mouse. This being the Mac edition, although it's not that much different if at all than the regular edition. This is replacing the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse, which was the previous champion of high performance mice that you could throw in a backpack or a pocket and take around with you. And this year it has basically been refined, but not overhauled. So the first change is cosmetic with a couple improvements. The side profile gets the lined silicone grip treatment that we see with the Master 3 mouse, which is nice and clean but doesn't fundamentally change anything. But it does look premium and does match the nicer and more expensive vibe of the Master 3. We've also got slightly more tactile and crisp buttons for back and forth on the side, which is nice to see, but otherwise very similar. And these side buttons are great to have on any mouse, particularly when you have the Logitech Options software that allows you to customize the buttons depending on your application. By default, it works as back and forth in web browsing and file management apps. It works as undo and redo in creation apps such as Photoshop and stop and start video and audio and video call apps such as Zoom. So these are all great default customizations for this mouse. The shell remains pretty similar and I actually liked the ever so slight dimple or concave design that we saw with the last mouse more than the new flatter shell that we see with the three. It's, it's completely flat up top, or at least doesn't have that kind of concave feel where your fingers fit a little bit more comfortably. It's a very subtle difference though and definitely just a personal preference and you very well may think otherwise. The scroll wheel has been improved and matches the Master 3's scroll wheel, which is generally more premium and satisfying to use than the previous 2S mouse in its scroll wheel. You can scroll totally normal with this in the ratchet mode, or you can flick it quickly to enter into the hyper fast mode, which is a silent and seamless transition and allows you to scroll many hundreds of lines with one stroke. Not only is this just quieter than the ratchet mode on the 2S, but also just feels a little bit more premium with its all metal design and it's really nice and it definitely does make this mouse feel higher quality. You can also press the middle button to fully enter into the infinity scroll mode, which is great for getting through documents or just seeing how long something is. Last generation's mouse had a subtle dedicated horizontal scroll feature with the wheel by tilting it to the left and right, and this year it ditches that for a combo of pressing either side button and then scrolling up or down for a faster and more capable side scrolling, albeit maybe a little bit less precise if you need subtle adjustments. Neither solution is as good as the Master 3's horizontal wheel, but of course that's why it is the big boy mouse, but this works very well and is very handy for video editing and other timeline projects where you need to scroll horizontally. And lastly, this now has USB-C, which is great to see and was the last big feature left to fix. Battery life remains around 70 days off a of full charge, so you really hardly ever need to charge it anyway, and that's the same battery life we saw with the last generation. Other things remain the exact same, such as the ability to connect to three devices, whether it be a Mac, an iPad, an Android tablet, or any combination, and you have a physical on and off switch. You can also use the Logitech unifying receiver to connect the old fashioned way. And Logitech's options software lets you customize the mouse's buttons in general, as well as specifically for different apps, which is super useful. And as always with Logitech mice, their laser technology in the mouse makes this able to track on pretty much any surface, including glass, which is just super great to see. So you can take this and use it really anywhere. It does come in some different colors this year, and you may or may not like the color schemes better and is the most refined and productivity oriented portable mouse on the market. It might not be worth the price over the 2S depending on what you're looking for exactly, but if you're looking for the best on the go mouse, this just got quieter, more refined, USB-C enabled, and just as precise and customizable as ever. It's a really solid mouse and I'll leave links down in the description for Amazon and Logitech if you wanna check this out. I 100% recommend it if you're willing to spend the money on this mouse, but otherwise there are really good options for cheaper from Logitech and other companies if you're not willing to spend 70 to $80 for a more portability oriented mouse. But thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave any comments or questions down below and I'll see you in the next video.